Hello Pisces and welcome to your love and relationship reading for July, oh no, whoops, whoops, June to July, mid-June to mid-July 2020. I mean, if you're not watching then, there's obviously a message for you, so just keep going. Thank you so much for being here. This is for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Pisces. You guys take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You guys know how it works. Be sure to check your other signs though for any additional messages in regards to love and relationship that may be coming through for you. I can't shuffle today. Seriously? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, if you guys like my videos, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, guys. I really, really appreciate it. We are growing very fast. It's unbelievable. And I could not be happier and more grateful. Thank you so much. I, I don't even have the words. So if you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It's great to have you again. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can, of course, do so on the website. I will link in the description there. All right, now I realize we haven't done a love and relationship reading in a couple of months. So let's see what we got here, shall we? This is love and relationships for Pisces for June, July-ish. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm curious to see what comes up for us since it hasn't been a while. This is for Pisces, of course. The next month or so, Pisces love and relationships. Is it flipping? Oh my goodness. Do you guys see this? Jeez Louise, another card flip. <sighs> Pisces love and relationship. Pisces love and relationship. Pisces love and relationship. Love and relationship or Pisces. Okay. Let's see what we got here, shall we? Woo! Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, holy shit, you guys. And we have Death. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> holy shit, Pisces. Good for you. So, I mean, you have two Aces, a Ten, and then the Death card. Which is, you know, like basically an end and a new beginning wrapped into one. So, you guys have like new relationships. Okay. Um, some of you, this is, this is a brand new, straight up new relationship. Okay. Um, whether it was with someone that you've known a long time or not, it doesn't matter. This is a brand new beginning for you. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, some of you, you get, you get to increase your family, right? Here, you see how you got the, 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 the family and the kids and, you know, that's what's happening, okay? You're starting a new chapter of your life and you have a pregnancy, okay? There's a new baby coming in for some of you and lots of that family happiness around there. It's like things are dying off to bring in this amazing, amazing new beginning here. Like this, this is just, things are ending, you know, worries ending, um, stress is ending. And it's like, you're able to harness the joy and excitement that's coming to you. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. By the way, money looks good this month, you guys. So I, I think like that worry's been dying off. It's alleviated, so you're able to focus on other things. But um, yeah, you have offers to you. You're building foundations. I mean, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So wow, good month for you, Pisces. Holy shit! All right, so. This has been coming to you for a while. All right. You've been working towards it. Let's not even lie. Right? This new beginning, this love, happiness, devotion. I mean, you've been working towards it. This isn't anything new. You're just seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay? You're in a great position emotionally this month. Right? You're very balanced. You're, you're, you're focused. But at the same time, you're very loving and calm and peaceful. Okay? 
Um, this change comes in fast. All right. Whether it's news of a pregnancy, whether maybe it's uh, maybe it's an engagement, maybe it's just somebody says I love you for the first time. Okay, it's a game changer. It's a game changer of a month and things shift very quickly. Your dreams are coming true. I feel like for some of you, this child you've been waiting a long time for. Okay. And you've been waiting and wishing and working towards it and now it's here. Okay. For some of you, that's just this relationship. Okay, you finally have the relationship you've dreamt of. That you've been wishing for, that you've been working towards. And you're building your foundations together. You let your old life die so you can fully engulf this new belief, relationship, um, life. Okay, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. All uh -huh. Wow, another ace. Jeez, you guys. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups. Blessings all around you. Okay? This month is so good for you. You are blessed. Especially in your relationships. And that's not just your romantic relationships. We're talking family. You're going to get along great. Co-workers. Friends. Okay? It's like there's this shift and you're able to... Everything's just so easy and free and fluid, okay? Because you've let go with this death card of any ideals of how... You've relinquished control of how you think your relationship should go, okay? And that's beautiful. And now all this love, this new excitement, this beginning, all these... With here, with the Seven of Cups, all these different blessings are just coming to you now. Because you've taken down the barrier, right? You're allowing them to flow. And that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, change is coming fast. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, okay? Things are turning, right? Things are starting to go in your favor. It's shifted. Now we're moving forward. Now things are coming in. You just had to be patient here, right? With the Seven of Pentacles. You've been waiting on it. We have the Knight of Wands, okay? Beautiful, right? Offers coming in, messages of love, right? This could be the actual news of the pregnancy for those of you who are experiencing that. News of an engagement. This could just be the declaration, I love you. And for some of you, this is just meeting the new person, <laughs> okay? If you're single, yeah. Let it happen. Don't try and force things. I think that's that's the big message. I mean, you have nothing but offers from the universe that are just amazing and beautiful and coming in quickly once you beat down those expectations. So let things happen as they will and accept them as they come and you will be rewarded big time, Pisces. I mean, congratulations. This is absolutely beautiful. There's an ease to life this month with your relationships, no matter what they are, friendship, otherwise. That is just, it's so easy and natural and free. And you're just going to feel the love this month, okay? Yeah, I feel like you were feeling kind of down and out. Like everything was kind of, a burden, right? Like it was, it was tough. You just had to keep moving forward. Now you've learned those lessons here with the Hierophant. Okay. You've learned the art of detachment. You've relinquished control. You've relinquished the expectation. And now, like I said, you're being rewarded with all the aces, all this beautiful blessings coming to you. This ease, this new... <sighs> this new life. Things are finally going your way and it's coming in quickly. And to finish it off, we have the chariot. Yes, change is coming. Right? You, you just let that barrier down and you are going to have a flood of blessings and amazing 
amazing things happen for you. Things that you've been waiting for, right? I mean, that's stunning, beautiful. Enjoy it, Pisces. Go with the flow. Don't question it, right? That's the old you, right? Just let the blessings roll in. Amazing. Congratulations, Pisces. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments how it works out for you. It looks like you're going to have a tremendous month relationship-wise. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.